Hey, Clonebot Zach here, and today we're going to talk about light. So light is under the stage tab, and notice you have several different types of light, like directional and spotlight, as well as, scroll down a little bit, point light. But before we get started, let's talk about directional light. So let's go ahead and turn a directional light on by clicking here. And now notice you have a, a line that represents the angle in which the light comes into the room. So you can use the move controls and the rotate controls to move the light around so you can see around the room. Notice how the light changes. Actually, it would be better if I change the ambient light. Let's go to turn the ambient light off. Let's see here, turn the lights down. Sure. All right, so we turn the ambient light off. Now you can see it better whenever I move the directional light around, the changes that it has. And remember, you can always change the, the color, the different colors for your directional light. So let's change it to a kind of a purplish color. There we go. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so let's take a look now at, let's go turn this one off and let's take a look at point light. Okay, with point light, you also have this gizmo here that you can also move around the room, but you also have something really cool called the intensity. So you can change the range as well as turn on the decay to get that attenuation feeling. So notice the difference in the lights and then you can move it around the room to set the light that you want. So you can make the lights like this in the kitchen or you can lower it down like this. So feel free to move around your lights to get that perfect feel and look for your room. But not only can you move the lights around the room, you can also attach the light, or excuse me, link the lights to characters. So for instance, I'll choose this character and under the linkage, I will pick the parent for the avatar. And now I link the light to the avatar. And remember, it's always a good idea to link it to the bone root. That way the light doesn't have this unnatural bounce to it that it will just follow the character. All right, so see how the avatar she walks around the room and the light follows her. Cool. All right, so with light, you can use the light to change the feeling for your characters and your room and the setting for your project. So notice that light for that project and then notice this project without light. So you can see the difference that light has on your project. So let me show you how I made those spotlights earlier for the earlier project. Okay, so I just throw in a directional light, change it to a spotlight over on the Modify tab, and notice you can still, just like any other of the lights, move it around the room, change the angle for it, and you can move it up and down just like this. Okay, so looking over here, just like in point lights, you can change the intensity as well as the decay, but you also have the ability to change the spotlight beam, such as the angle, make it larger or smaller, and you can also change the fall off. So you can see how it's a little blurred along the edges. Okay, and you can also have it link to the character as well. So just choosing a target, we'll choose her, hmm, maybe her hips, all right? And so we'll have the avatar go through her animation and notice how the spotlight follows her hips. All right, another thing I would like to show you is that you can change, where is it? you can change the color of your uh, spotlight as well. So for instance, it started off as blue and then it'll change it to red. So let's watch it, how it goes. So it starts blue, slowly turns red, and then it should start to turn back to blue. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, another really cool thing is that you can attach your spotlights to flashlights for your actors. So we can choose a target and now Watch the animation as I move the flashlight up, you can see how the spotlight moves forward, moves along, and lights up that hallway. Really cool. 